I'm Jake Bruton, and today on The Build Show, we are back at our Prairie House Aero Project, and we're going to talk about gutters, water management, and the lack thereof. Let's do it now. Okay, so this conversation about water management and gutters uh, involves not having gutters or having ground gutters and having gutters. So we're standing on the back porch of the house. It opens up to their beautiful property. The clients here have something like 280 acres. Uh, so they want to be able to spend time out here, but we didn't cover the whole porch. We just covered so that the uh, interior gets shade in the summer and just enough that we still get sun in the winter, like today when it's nine degrees. So our overhang has to have downspouts because we have a gutter here. We don't want water dripping on the patio. We don't want that to fall on the occupants if they're sitting out here, even if it's not raining. So we have to have a downspout and a gutter and because some sort of downspout going back to the house would have been disgusting. The clients actually picked rain chains, uh, and I think this is a nice little element. It's kind of cool when it's frozen like that. So they have a rain chain here, and they have a rain chain on the front porch, and the reason they have one on the front porch is because when you're walking up to the front door, you don't want that roof running off and onto, the, you know, onto your guests. Everywhere else, we're without gutters. So if you... Uh, if you see over here, we have a two foot overhang, first of all. I don't think that I would try to do a in-ground French drain or, or French gutter system uh, on something that has less than a two foot overhang. I want that splash to be far enough away from the house that we're not damaging the house by not having gutters. Uh, the other thing that we have here is we have this uh, water table of brick that comes up to the sill of all the windows. It's like a three and a half foot high uh, brick all the way around the entire house. That solves a lot of problems for when there's a little bit of water splashing from time to time. So you can see that we have this uh, four foot wide swath of decorative gravel. It runs the entire house. It's around the entire house. So it looks like that just drips down and into a bed of gravel. But in that bed of gravel, we have buried from here all the way around to the other side of the patio over there, a drain pipe. And that drain pipe actually is basically the same assembly as we do for drain tile on any of our foundations. So we have uh, a bed of rock, uh, filter fabric, pipe surrounded by more rock, filter fabric wrapped around it so we have a burrito, more rock. In this case, we didn't then backfill to get us up to grade. It's just rock from there all the way up. We topped it with this decorative rock. It is just regular limestone. Uh, I think we used one inch clean gravel around everything below that. But then it drains both directions. So this, is, this patio is actually kind of our dividing point. So from here, it drains that direction. And from the uh, driveway, everything kills to that side of the property. From the other half of the driveway, everything goes that way. Uh, the only challenges that we've noticed so far, the walkway leading up to the uh, summer kitchen because it doesn't have a gutter. It gets a little heavier ice, so it can tend to get iced over a little faster than some things. And the driveway has a tendency to get a little bit iced over as well. They park in the garage. They don't normally have that many guests. They're on top of salting when things are gonna get bad. But uh, from there, I think the house is just a little bit more attractive. Uh, I think that the aesthetics of the house, the, the choices that were made, not having gutters, you don't necessarily notice it at first, but then when you realize that this two foot overhang really projects all the way around the house and there's no downspouts going back to the house, it really did make a difference. It also gave us the ability to do this two layer system for our fascia board, uh, which the, the, the cedar and the cedar fascia, that's a, that's a detail that we don't get if we have to mount a gutter to that. So. If you're going to uh, manage water like this, my tips are uh, really make sure that you have a durable assembly down low so that if there is any splash splashback, you're protected. Uh, number two, to uh, make sure that you consider where the drip lines are going to be because you may still need a gutter like here on the front porch. And number three, two foot overhangs, in my opinion, are going to be way better at this than the standard like an industry standard of 16 inches for any normal house built in the United States. Uh, but I think we can make an argument that two foot overhangs make sense either way. So 
Thanks for watching the Build Show Network today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter from buildshownetwork.com. There are two emails every single week. They'll let you know everything that's coming, and then that way you don't miss out on a single thing. Thanks for watching.